Hello everyone, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create these decal effect uh, by using the relatively uh, new decal renderer which has been introduced in Unreal's Nigra system. So let us dive into that. So if we look into the, one of the systems here, we can see there is a simple emitter which is emitting some mesh particles. Uh, which is in this case spheres and we are generating a collision event from uh, these particles and we are using that uh, data uh, to, to spawn some other particles which is in this case the decal ones but what is special in this case uh, other than what we used to do earlier uh, maybe like spawning uh, a sprite Okay, so this time we are taking a new uh, renderer which is called the decal renderer which is specifically uh, made for decals and uh, if we see like it has a normal material section where we have applied the materials this we are coming back coming to shortly uh, and in this setup it is pretty much simple it is taking the collision uh, data even from the source particle and uh, we are spawn spawning the same decals here. Why we can't see it here in the Niagara viewport is because we don't have any bottom surface or the colliding surface visible. So what we can do is we can go to the preview scene settings and just switch on this show floor and you can see right away that wherever the our main source particles are colliding, uh, the decal uh, emitter kicks in and spawn the particles here, which is represented by uh, the decal renderer. So what is different about this decal renderer is mainly the way it is implemented or the way it you have to set up uh, the decal renderer to work so in terms of uh, the emitter systems uh, if you go to any of the initialized particle you will not be able to see any any special decal renderer options down here uh, so in that case so what you have to do is in the particle spawn uh, you can search for decal orientation which will give us the decal orientation module where you can actually uh, orient your uh, or rather uh, like you can fix the direction of your decals based on, on how you want uh, in terms of changing the size or uh, something else uh, since we don't have any options directly again we have dedicated decal uh, options under here and to get that we have to go um, one minute yeah we have to uh, set this set new or existing parameter directly so uh, which I have already taken in this case and if I switch it off I'll show it from beginning if you take this uh, by default it will not have anything but here if you go and search for decal you will find the specific uh, parameters for the decals which uh, is, is now available to you which is say decal fade, decal orientation, decal size so what I have taken here is say for example the decal size and I am giving a ran random range between that so in this way you have to assign uh, or, or control the size of your uh, decal particles because we don't have any options under uh, the normal initialized particles or as such so similarly for the particle uh, in the particle update here if you see we haven't used the scale color option where we can control the alpha instead we have taken the same uh, uh, existing parameter new or existing parameter and we have set the decal fade option where we are controlling the fade using this curve now let us see like what it takes to uh, make this decal renderer work in terms of the materials so if we go directly to the decal material because this material is a very special one uh, because in normally when we create any uh, Niagara particle material we normally use nodes like uh, particle color uh, and uh, we multiply this with uh, any of the textures and, and then prepare that material for the particles whereas for the, in case of decal renderer instead of using particle color we 
have to use decal color and along with decal color if you uh, also want to have fading options in your decal then you need to use decal lifetime opacity which needs to be multiplied uh, by the opacity of your texture or like which, whichever texture you will be using so this is the <coughs> setup which you need to do for your decal renderer to work uh, for your material so the same thing I have used as an instance and I have used in this decal renderer so this is one of the example and as you have seen in my scene that there is another uh, particle systems which is uh, visible here so it is nothing but uh, so this is based on the mesh particles and this is based on the sprite particles so if we see uh, this system also so these are like the source particles are uh, nothing but uh, okay this this one is also a mesh render but we can also go for a sprite render as well so it's it's your choice uh, it's completely uh, fine how you want to uh, set this up and here uh, I have done a different uh, I have taken a different approach in order to fade the uh, decals if you can see the decal is fading along with time so if you see here here I have used the scale color and I uh, use the usual uh, the techniques which we normally follow for any particle alpha that I have animated the alpha along with time so both the options are available if you want to fade your uh, decals so in one of the example I have used the decal fade and use the graph and in another example I have used the scale color and use this scale alpha to animate it and here also I have used the same uh, this, this set new or existing parameter and set up the decal size accordingly so this is the primary setup which you need to do uh, so the material setup particular material setup for your decals and then in your Niagara emitter you have to uh, set your decal size decal fade according to how you want it to control so I hope that uh, this little tutorial will be helpful to many of you so yeah until next time thank you bye bye